CataractCoach.com. How I handle a fluffy white cataract. This young patient sustained trauma and developed this cataract. Now, yesterday's video, which is 2128, there was a video of a young patient also with a soft, white, fluffy cataract, and the guest surgeon inadvertently put a phaco probe in the eye and put too much energy in and <laughs> popped out of the posterior capsule. Well, we don't want that kind of complication here. So let me show you my technique for doing these soft, white, fluffy cataracts. Now, this patient is young, mid-30s, had trauma to this eye and developed this cataract. So we put tripen blue dye in the eye here to stain the anterior lens capsule. That's important. It also makes the capsule a little bit less elastic. Now, diluting that out and putting in some preservative-free lidocaine mixed with balanced salt solution to give some more anesthesia. Now, we can see I have a pretty good stain there. And now putting in our viscoelastic. Now, importantly, when you put the viscoelastic in, feel that lens capsule. Is it intumescent? Is the capture bag pressurized? So again, putting in our viscoelastic here, there's the viscoelastic dispersive agent going inside the eye. And I'll touch that lens capsule just to see. And it doesn't look too pressurized, which is a good sign. I'm really happy about that. I don't want it to be too pressurized because then it's more likely to run out and cause that Argentinian flag sign so we're going to go in now with the cystotome. Notice there's no main incision yet. I've got the AC pressure relatively high to keep that anterior lens capsule flat. Going with the cystotome now through our side port and poke in here in the middle. And let's see what happens. It comes, okay, it's opening up. So not a lot of lens milk. So there's really not a lot to decompress in this eye. There's no liquefied lens material. There, this is not an intumescent or fluid-filled cataract. It's a white cataract, sure, but all the lens material here is really fluffy and soft and not yet liquefied. So here's our main incision going inside. Make a good incision there. And now we're going to grab that capsule, our capsorexis forceps, and create a nice 5 millimeter or so capsorex. So there's the capsule, and you can see it tears very easily, and there's no risk of it running out. And we complete that nice round rexus here. So grabbing that capsule, I'm going to show you the whole video today. We're showing you this so we can all learn together. Let me show you the whole case here. Notice how I am definitely taking my time here. I need this to be really beautiful. The result of the surgery has to be great. The patient's going to look through this surgery for 50 more years, right? So now you can try some hydrodissection, but it's just it's soft. It's, there's, you don't get any fluid wave. So instead of putting the phaco probe in, you know what you should do? Just put in the IA probe. Here's the phaco probe, and we can try it, but you'll see it's just so soft. I'll put the chopper there to, to, as a safety margin and try to vacuum. You know what? It's just, no, it's not worth it. You just come out and go with the IA probe. It's a lot safer. So now we're going to switch over to the IA probe with that soft polymer tip. That's going to help protect these delicate tissues like that poster capsule. There's that soft polymer tip. We'll just adjust that to make the flow the way we want it. And now, look, we can just vacuum all the lens material out with the IA probe. Again, review yesterday's video, 2128. That one, you'll see what happens if you put a phaco probe in the eye and give any phaco energy. You'll go right through the capsule. So here, just aspirating all this stuff out comes out very easily, certainly. Um, it all goes through that tiny little port of the IA probe. And we'll clean all this up. Now, you can have a lot of this white lens material being adherent to the bag. And so I'm also being, being cautious here and looking around to see, are there any other signs of trauma? So in an eye like this with trauma, you want to make sure, is there any zonulopathy? Is there anything else you see wrong? Any iris defects? Is the capsule okay? So everything looks pretty darn good. I'm trying to clean up as much as we can of that lens material. Remember, cataractcoach.com is a full website, too, with an amazing search engine. You like trauma cataracts? There's a whole subsection on trauma. Yes, you can see them on YouTube, too, but it's far more organized with a better search engine on cataractcoach.com. Plus, if you're a young doctor learning cataract surgery, you better download that free PDF book and go through the 25-part free curriculum series. All right, physical acid going inside. Love that, Rex, because that looks pretty darn good. I'm going to go inside, even do some polishing. Remember, I'm thinking long term. I want to do a beautiful result for this patient. I want this to last 50 years at least. Here comes our lens. It's going to be a single piece acrylic lens, toric design. So we're going to correct the stigmatism as well. So here comes that lens, getting it through a tight incision there. I don't want to make a big incision this eye. I want it nice and small. And there we go. Lens is opening up. You can see those are the toric marks at the haptic optic junction. Let's get that lens opened up, rotate it in the appropriate position. Yep, and that looking pretty good. I'm going to go inside here 
and use that spatula just to clean up a little bit more of that undersurface of the capsule. I want to get all this little adherent lens material off the capsule, clean up as much as we can. Now we'll take out that viscoelastic and then it will rotate the lens into the appropriate position. So keep this in mind. If you have a young patient with a traumatic cataract and it's real soft and white and fluffy, the texture of this was like cotton candy. Do not go in there with the phaco probe and give ultrasonic energy. That's going to break the bag. That's going to cause some damage, some damage, iatrogenic issues. So what you want to do instead is go inside like this with the IA probe, very gently just to aspirate everything out here. And you can see we've cleaned up uh, the viscoelastic very nicely. Now just get this toric lens rotated a little bit, a little bit more. There you go. You can see I have toric marks on the cornea where I'm trying to line up this lens. That looks fantastic. Let's seal up the incision and do a little final check here. And this patient had a beautiful outcome. 2020 vision on post-op day one, which is quite a feat given that this patient had a totally white cataract. So again, there's the lens in really good position. And let's wash out any remaining viscoelastic, seal up the incision, call this a day. Beautiful result here. So keep this in mind for soft white cataracts, be careful. And remember, we got a free PDF book. We got the curriculum series. We got the amazing podcast. You have to hear the podcast. We give away all the secrets of ophthalmology that you wish you knew.